this is the power and programming cable for node mcu esp8266 and these these two wires are for ground and 5 volt for mcp2515 can module which converts can signals can signals into spa spa signals it has four data pins spa data pins which is connected to d5 d6 d7 and d8 as you can see the data lines and this is the interrupt pin which is connected at d4 of the node mcu esp8266 and it has two wires can h and can l and this is a random can based uh, device which has two two pin can h and can l so we can connect these two pins to these two pins can h to can h or can l to can l and we can collect uh, its data to the can hacker can hacker software window by using this this Arduino code I will give the data in the description as well now I am going to connect this pins to can edge or can edge can only we have to connect these two pins nothing else no ground nothing this is the module mcp 2515 2 for power and 4 wires for data pins And this is the interrupt pin. Now I uploaded the code. This is the code. And now I opening can hacker. And Select the COM port which is connected to the node MCU. COM port 10. Select COM port, board rate, which is both uh, which is. Uh, connected with uh, Arduino ID and uh, can board rates set here and hit OK and it is showing not connected now I am clicking on connect disconnect button and it will connect and whatever it is received on the can node it will print here
as you can see uh, this is the request frame which is sent by its internal controller this battery its in internal controller to the bms of the of this battery and this is the data frame which is received by the which is this is the data frame which is sent by the bms 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 to the microcontroller and we are just reading this data to the to the to this window this is also a request frame and this is the data frame this is also a request frame which request frame or remote request frame which has no data and data length is 8 and this is the response of the BMS Similarly, this is the request frame sent by the microcontroller. This is the microcontroller, and inside this, inside this, inside this, that is a BMS of this battery. So we are just sending this request frame, and we are getting this data frame and this, these are the decimal values you can refer the document of this battery or BMS you, you, you will find the appropriate data for example like this when you send 90 you will get pressure voltage by 2 to 3 acquisition voltage by it or by 2 or 3 consider as a conjunction not individual take byte 2 and 3 and conjugate joint them and then convert into decimal values you will get appropriate voltage this is all about as you can see we can just read the data on the node of the CAN module if we want to request a data we have to we have to remove this microcontroller from the node so we can send the command via computer to the BMS so I'm going to remove this connector from now I removed the microcontroller now it is connected this MCP2515 is directly connected to the BMS of the battery now data not now, now the data will not update as we removed the microcontroller which is sending this request frames so I am refreshing it and now I will send commands as as my document says this is the request frame 
विच इज विच वॉज सेंडिंग बाई दिस माइक्रो कंट्रोलर टू द पी एम एस टू द पी एम एस सो नाउ आई विल सेंड रिमोट रिक्वेस्ट रिमोट रिक्वेस्ट विच इज वन एट नाइन डबल जीरो वन फोर्टी okay just send this and you will receive uh, we received nothing na na yeah yes we received we received some data we received we sent 140 and we received 4001 it has data now i sending now i'm sending ninety one now we received another data as follow your document and as your document says for which data you required you can send this is the full concept this is the battery or your car and this is the microcontroller and this is the bms of the battery or any device and we are just connecting to wires can h or can l to the can h or can l of the mcb 2515 and this these pins are for spa communication and these pins are for power of this module and this is node mcu usb 8266 and this is data cable to read the data whenever this microcontroller gives uh, no whenever this whenever this microcontroller send request to the bms for bms data it received uh, the request and process if the can id match then it will send the data frame to the microcontroller so whenever we read on the computer we get both request frame and response frame or data frame we both we get both remote request or uh, and data frame sent by this bms module request frame will send by this module to this and bms will send data frame to this and we just we can just read this request frame and uh, data frame to the computer terminal by arduino or can hacker software we just read we can't request for any particular data to the bms or to the microcontroller we we can just read the data and see